Hello, and welcome to the Best Today podcast. I am your host, Shante Grant. And today we're going to get right into it. The So this episode, I want to talk to you about the term, the word grace and how it is typically used in a phrase like give yourself grace, or I'm going to give myself grace. So either say it to a person or to oneself. And I actually recorded an episode about guilt and grace in August of 2022, uh, when this was the Business Life Enjoy podcast, that was episode 171. I'm going to link to it in the show notes if you want to hear me from two years ago talk about this a similar thing, because this word has graded my, what do they say, graded my grains, um, irked me for for years. Uh, clearly, as there is an episode where I'm talking about this term again, two years ago, August 2020, and I'm recording this in September of 2022. But I thought about it again when um, my leak, if you don't know my leak teal, you, you probably do because I talk about her and share her content uh, consistently over on Instagram. But I'm in her motherhood group online and she posted a question asking, you know, what's your unpopular opinion? And I usually don't have one um, a lot of the times when those kind of threats go up. But when she t- asked it said, you know, mama's unpopular opinion. And immediately this came to my mind and I wrote, I'm going to read what I wrote in the group. I said, the term give yourself grace is more harmful than helpful. I want us to allow ourselves to be human instead. Grace has the connotation that we are in the wrong, i.e., for example, grace periods when you default on a payment. You don't need grace because you forgot about cupcakes for the bake sale or you haven't cooked a meal in a week. We need to allow ourselves to be human and honor our capacity and seasons of life. And just the response from the incredible, might I mention, um, amazing moms in that group, it made me think I need to bring this conversation back up because I've talked about this a lot um, over the years. And like I said, I have an old podcast episode about it. But I wanted to bring it back up because I know someone needs to hear this and this makes it very easy to have a small place to come back and refer to. So today I just want to give you an opportunity or offer you humanity over grace. And so first I am a big stickler on definition. So we know what we're talking about. So I looked up the word grace um, and some of the definitions include uh, a manifestation of favor, especially by our superior And this was from dictionary.com. And it gave an example using it with that definition. Through the dean's grace. Oh, it was through the dean's grace that I wasn't expelled from school. Right. So just think about that. Manifestation of favor, usually from a superior. And the example sentence was through the dean's grace. It was through the dean's grace that I wasn't expelled from school. So clearly that lets us know that the person did something wrong that could have gotten them expelled from school. Consequence, punishment. But through grace, they didn't, right? Another definition, mercy, clemency, pardon, favor in granting a delay or temporary immunity. What do all those things have in common? That negative connotation that, what's the word I'm looking for? That presupposition, is that a word? Did I just make that up? Presupposing that one has done something that is wrong. And my concern is that in the context when I'm hearing this word grace used, you know, give yourself grace or I need to give myself some grace to to avoid saying 100% of the time, but I'm almost positive that is true. We'll say 99.99% of the time, it's a woman saying it to herself or a woman saying it to another woman. And in the vast majority of those situations, when I hear it extended from one to another, it's to a mother, right? And that, is why I'm so concerned and why I want to bring it to your attention that that is actually doing far more harm than good. You know, the actual message that is being delivered, even unintentionally, is that there is this heavy burden upon women to get everything right, to be right, to look right, to have 20 20 vision before things happen, to never forget a detail, to present if there's, there's no humanity within you, never be sick, never have an off day, never have an off moment, do all the things and do them well without complaining, be fit, be nice, be all things to all people. But if you don't meet this burden that we've just placed on you, then just give yourself grace. 
just give yourself grace because the bur- the standard is there. The burden is there. But if you don't miss it, just just give yourself grace. Give yourself grace like the bill collector does, right? Give yourself a pardon. But here's the thing. No wrongs have been committed. No crimes have been committed. Humanity, your humanity is not a crime. Needing rest is not a crime. Saying no is not a crime. Choosing not to do the thing that someone thought you should do because it was a convenience to them is not a crime. There's no grace needed. You don't need grace because you've eaten takeout in Trader Joe's all week. You don't need grace because you left clothes in the washing machine overnight for two nights. Now the clothes smell a little bit. You don't need grace because you were late to the doctor appointment because right before that appointment you were in a meeting and then you have another meeting right after the doctor's appointment. You know, there may be a long list of things that you do, in fact, need boundaries, help, rest, self-compassion, routines that help you, a personal assistant, and the list could go on. But grace is not it. At Best Today, we exist to help women just like you be your best one today at a time. So each week on the podcast, we are going to highlight your stories and your voices. So let's see what's in the inbox today. So I bought my best today guide two years ago to the day. Um, Congratulations, Shante. Uh, Two years, what a wonderful journey it has been. Um, And I'm so proud to support you along the way um, and be a recipient of all of the principles and everything that you teach definitely made my life better. Um, but yeah, I love the best day day guide, but I think my favorite product or products really like the plans be done and the plans be done planning pad. (laughs) Um, so I did the live workshop with Shante mm, end of last year sometime. And like, honestly, it's just the way that she, breaks down planning into simple steps is so amazing. Like I really um, found it so useful. So if you're planning something and the very first plans be done thing I did was plan out my Christmas cards um, and made little gifts for my friends. So nothing is too small or too big for the plans be done. And yeah, it's really, really good. Definitely recommend that one. But really I recommend any of the products. So, you know, (laughs) Um, yeah, congratulations again. Thank you so much, Stacey. In September of 2022, we celebrated two years since the Best Day Guide began shipping to customers. And so we are so thrilled to continue to hear customers who have tried all the different types of planning systems, planners there are, who have consistently used the Best Day Guide going on two years strong. So grateful for that. And not only that, but that how there is alignment with our other products, including Plans Be Done, which Stacy mentioned. So if you want to learn which of our products is best for you, you can go to besttoday.co forward slash quiz. We have a short quiz and it will help you decide what is best for you if you're trying to decide where to get started. I recommend the starter bundle, which you can find at besttoday.co under the shop button or planning and routine. It's a great way to give you all the pieces and it comes with your first month in the Best Today community for free. So you can get started right now by going to besttoday.co. If you want to take that quiz, hit forward slash quiz. It's also right there on our website. You can't miss it. Um, So yeah, thank you again, Stacey, for sharing. Thank you again, Stacey, for sharing. And you can go to besttoday.co right now to get started with our products and resources from Best Today. I can't wait to get to learn more about you and how we can help you to be proactive and intentional with your time. Because there's a difference between doing something that is wrong, breaching or violating a mandate or an agreement, a contract, versus being human and having limitations and capacity and not hitting the mark or the goal every single time and not hitting the goal, not meeting the mark, not being able to do all the things in the way in which you might have desired to originally, none of that necessitates grace because, and this is my entire point. And like the preachers usually say, I'm about done, right? This is my entire point. The messaging here with this give yourself grace is you're getting it wrong. You're getting it wrong time and time and time again. 
But give yourself grace. Pardon yourself. There is this burden. That burden is real. The necessity for you to rise and be all the things to all the people and carry this load. Oh, that's real. But if you don't hit it, just give yourself grace. Kind of like in the definition the dictionary.com uses about, you know, the dean's grace. It was about the dean's grace that you weren't expelled from school. Oh, give yourself grace. I know you deserve to be expelled. You deserve to be ridiculed. You deserve to be shamed. You deserve to feel awful and sit in guilt. But give yourself grace. What if it's that you're not getting it wrong, but through life happening and unfolding, you're getting information to help you see where there may be holes, where there may be gaps that need to be filled. Places where you might need to prune, ask for help, let go, proactively plan, or just acknowledge I'm human. And in this moment, I did not have the capacity. I did not have the capacity to do the thing that I actually might have wanted to do. So my call to action for you is just to choose humanity over grace. Choose self-awareness over grace. Choose self-love over grace. Because your humanity, your limitations They're not wrong. They're not wrongdoings and they don't necessitate grace. In these instances where I continue to hear it used either to oneself or from one woman to another to give yourself grace. So to every woman listening to my voice right now, my call to action and my ask of you is to stop, give yourself gracing yourself And stop doing it and saying it to other women. Because these words, that phrase, that term, that word is really loaded. And what we're doing, while it might be unintentionally, although now you have the information, right? We're placing boulders on the shoulders of a group in society that has already been laced with invisible weights. When we continue to give yourself grace to one another... We are putting boulders on the shoulders of women who were already entered into this society, like weighed down with these invisible weights already. So instead, can we affirm one another in our humanity? In our progress, as we strive to honor ourselves and our daily lives and choices, can we choose humanity? Because bringing grace into the daily conversation and vernacular It presupposes wrongdoing. It presupposes that you're bad and it brings about shame and guilt again to a group that is already fighting against that in so many other areas. So may we all continue to claim the freedom to rise to the call of growth and evolution one today at a time, understanding that somewhere in the journey, We're bound to miss a mark that we wanted to hit that mattered to us. It's not even about the things that don't matter, but something actually mattered to us and we did not hit that mark. That's okay. That's a part of humanity. We will continue to grow and evolve one today at a time. And please, if nothing else, this episode of the podcast is just my ask to you to choose humanity over grace. Please share this with another woman that you know is in need of hearing these words. And thank you so much for listening to my my take on this because I really do think it can help to lift a burden from another woman's shoulders. So thank you. And thank you to my league for reminding me of this message that I've shared before, but wanted to share again. Thank you for being present with me for this week's episode of the Best Today podcast. Until next time, remember that you are capable and worthy of being your best one today at a time, and you have everything you need to have everything you want. So go on and shout it out as you live it out. This is what my best today looks like. I'll talk to you on the next episode. 
you enjoyed this week's episode of the Best Today podcast, you are going to love the Best Today Guide. Our Better Than a Planner guide teaches you how to get clear on what you want, identify your self-destructive habits and behaviors, and intentionally create space to prioritize yourself every single day. Don't go the journey to being your best one today at a time without the Best Today Guide. See inside its pages and order yours today at besttodayguide.com. Even better, when you order the Best Today Guide, we gift you with your first month free inside of the Best Today membership. So what are you waiting for? We're giving you everything you need to trade busy for intention. Go to besttodayguide.com and order yours today and join thousands of women across the globe proclaiming each day, this is what my best today looks like. 